Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm so stoked to see you guys again because today, before you buy any uh, wetsuit or you have already wetsuit, this video will give you some really cool inside information even I didn't know before I made this. So hit the intro and enjoy. Welcome back guys, so cool. Yes, it's a cool location here, a surf shop. I'm here directly in Katwijk by Gear Freak. Super cool that they host me. And by the way, support your local store. I have four really cool topics for you today. If you're not already watched, then go first watch the wetsuit basic. It's probably up here because I will talk now a bit more in depth. I'm talking here about the surf knowledge, surf wetsuits. And today I have four topics. One topic is I'm talking small in depth, more about the sizes that you have the right size for your surfing. The second, I'm talking about the zippers, the different kinds. What is the advantage and what is like a pros and cons about the different zippers you have. The third is I'm talking about stitches and why they're important, how you stitch a wetsuit together and what's the difference between them. And the last part is, yes, there are different neoprene materials inside the wetsuit. And yes, I will talk about the pros and cons. So we just go into the wetsuit corner where I teach you everything about those four topics. Let's go. I'm at the wetsuit corner and yes, I have some really cool in-depth details about the wetsuit sizes. You know already about the basic video, like the man sizes are in S, M, L and so on. And the girl sizes are numbers from 6, 8, 10 and so on. The man sizes also have something special in between. And yes, maybe you saw it in some wetsuits, they have an MT or an LT or an MS. I will explain you right now what it means. For example, right now I have an MT in my hand and MT stands for M, like the core is the size of an M size wetsuit, but the T stands for tall, means like the arms and the legs is actually as long as an L size. So an MT, T is tall, means like the tallness of an L, but the first one, the M, stands still for the core, for the core size as an M. So you comprehend it with another number, for example, LS means L stands for the size in the center. So you have an L size center, but the S stands for you have shorter arms and legs. So the length is actually the size of an M. So the size one below. By the way, guys, everything what I just explained is, of course, also there for the women. And it doesn't say then M or S, L, T or whatever. It says eight, but then for example, eight T. So if you combine what I just said, you can combine the width and the size here in the core of an eight size woman wetsuit. But the T means the tallness and the length of a number 10. Small fun fact, where are the sizes? Where can I see the sizes? It's mostly on the left arm inside. So you just unroll it whoop, and you will see the size immediately and you don't have to ask the employees. So back to the second topic about stitches. Yes, stitches is like how you connect the parts in a wetsuit, for example. That's a super cool topic because I went into a surf shop and asked the guys and this is, by the way, an advantage to go into a local surf shop because they know what they talk about. I mean, you can read a lot online, but it's so I like it. Maybe I'm old school, but I really like to talk with the guys and they really know what they're talking about. So I want to share this information with you because it's incredible. I didn't know either. Um, so here we go. So here, obviously, you can see the stitches, how you um, connect the parts of a wetsuit. There are only two different stitch forms. The first one is flat lock stitches. Flat lock means it stitches all the way through the neoprene. You can see it here. Do you see that? Like it goes the whole way through and stitches the parts together. 
This means because the stitches go through the neoprene, there will come a slightly bit more water inside the neoprene instead of the second one. The second form of stitches you can have is glue blinded stitches. Same what you see here. Glue blinded stitches means you see the outside stitches. Yes, you still have to put the parts together, but inside you see nothing. How? What? 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 Nothing means they stitch the neoprene, not the whole way through the neoprene, only half, but inside they glue it as well together. So that's why it's glue blinded stitches. Glue blind stitches. And now it comes if you want to have an extra layer over this inside glue blind stitches, then you can have glue blind stitches taped. So you put a tape over it. Oh my God, you can tape it. So what it, what it means is that if you put tape over, it lasts a bit more longer, but you will see it also in the price, it will slightly go up. Isn't it amazing? I didn't know. So if you combine that knowledge, what I just told you, you have the flat lock uh, stitches and you have the glue blind stitches, means there's more water coming through the flat lock uh, stitches, most likely. So they use most of the stitches for more summer wetsuits, where it's nice and summery. So that's why this, for example, the flat lock stitches is a 3.2 millimeter and not a 5.4 one one, which you need in Holland in the winter. Let's go to the next topic. Topic number three. I will show you the difference between the zippers. Yeah, there are zippers and there's even one possibility to have no zipper, which I come in a second. So zippers means like you see it here, those zippers could be on the back. Yes, this is called a back zip. It could also be in the front, back front. So we call this a front zip and it could be even zipper less. So without any zipper. So a back zip is really handy to put it on and off because you have more space and if you want to go into the wetsuit you have more space to go in. It's a women's wetsuit, I'm not going in. But you can see I can unroll it till here and then I can step in. By the way, I've also made a video about how to get in your wetsuit. So check it out. The only disadvantage with a back zip is imagine you're surfing and you're paddling and you're doing a duck dive that when the zipper is closed here in the back is most likely there's a slightly water coming in like not, not a whole bunch of water but slightly more water coming in than with a front zip or a zipperless wetsuit. But the advantage is you can put it on your hip when you're done surfing or you meet a new friend because he or she is helping you putting the wetsuit on with the back zip. Front zip is the most common, I would say, in the wetsuit world. It's changing a bit because a lot of people changing to zipper less, so with no zipper at all. The advantage of a front zip is that you go in, you pull it over your head, you put the zipper in the front, you can close it by yourself way easier and uh, there's less water coming in during your surfing. That's the most common setup in surfing because like I explained with the back zip, here everything is sealed. So with duck diving and every radical maneuver you're up to, there's less, less chance that water comes in. There's a small difference about the front zips. Yes, the most common one is going from the right to the left and then you open it, whoop, or to the left, to the right, it really doesn't matter. Or you have, you see there's one part going from here to the other side. Or this kind of front zip, we call it also a free zip. You see, whoop, it's totally free. The advantage of a free zip is you can step in your wetsuit with the shoulders way more easy because here is more stretch. Then you can put it over your head. It's way too warm, I'm not showing it right now. Put it over your head and can easily close it. That's the advantage of having a free front zip. But the disadvantage, a small disadvantage, it's really not that big, but a small disadvantage is that you can see there are two entrances 
here in the front. So there's most likely a bit of water coming from the right and left. That's why a normal front zip or the most common front zip is going here, is closed here on the right side and you can open it to the left. The disadvantage about this front zip is that once it's open, you have quite a bit more harder time to step in the wetsuit. By the way, I made a video again. <laughs> so you first have to step in this side and pull it over your head. You see, it's a bit more, uh, it's not that stretchable to go in. This is a small disadvantage. But like I said, with the front zip, most likely there's no water coming in through your duck dive. Whoop. Last possibility of having a zipper, of having no zipper, is the zipperless version. Zipperless version means, uh, yeah, not like the name, it's zipperless. The advantage is, yes, you don't have to zip something from the back or getting new friends or in the front, no. But the disadvantage is, you see it, I have to stretch it over my head like heavy, like you have to step in here, here comes a lot of tension and then you have to put it over your head so the material, the neoprene, will get stretched more. So this is a small disadvantage of having a zipperless weight zipper. By the way, if you want to have more surf knowledge, order your surf companions now. Go to the last topic of today. Yes, I will show you the insides of the wetsuits because they're also different and I will show you the pro and cons about it. Every brand and every thickness and model of wetsuit have a different material inside. The advantage is following. For example, if you unroll this wetsuit, you have the normal, really stretchable neoprene. The pro is, it's really stretchable, so you don't lose the stretchable function in your core here, but you will, won't have as much warmth, which you have with the following. You see the difference if you unroll this one, you have a slightly thicker and a different neoprene than in the rest of the neoprene. Let's go further. For example, this brand has a really, whoa, really fluffy, yes, warmer material stitched in here. So you can guess if you have that on your chest and the back, it will give you extra warmth in your surfing. One of the warmer wetsuits have even warmer as well, nice and fluffy and warm. That's why it keeps you warmer. This is a big, big pro. So if you watch all those stitches, sizes, you can also unroll the wetsuit inside and you will see, is it fluffy or not? Does it keep it more warm or less warm? So guys, that was it about all the wetsuit knowledge for today. I hope you liked it. If you're not already did, subscribe, hit the like button and I hope to see you next time. Daniel from the Surf Companions. I'm looking for a wetsuit for me, but uh, not, not flat locked. I want to have, you know, uh, blue blind stitched. Is it cool? Maybe with tape. Yeah. <laughs>